All right, so as happened in a previous video that may or may not be out now, but either way it happened while I was recording this, um, this was a test card that I was working on. And as you can see here, as this was engraving the uh, numbers for these speeds, it was kind of shifting this way. And then as you can see in this last one, it actually shifted everything just over a little bit. But then all these squares, which were a separate uh, you know, layer basically, all were decently lined up at least until you got to this one. So this was all, all the numbers and all the auxiliary information was all a separate layer that it engraved first. And it just kind of lost steps this way, but then it immediately goes to these and it's all spot on. And the cut that goes at the very end was all spot on. So it, it never lost steps. It just wasn't, it lost steps within one layer, which was kind of weird. So I got a solution to this. And this is what came out of that. Don't mind me. <laughs> it didn't It didn't go all the way through, so I just kind of ripped it out. But um, this is, now I changed the setting and you can see everything is all perfect. This was the exact same file. Actually, I cut out a couple of these, but same file otherwise, with the exception of one change that I'm gonna show you now. If you've ever had any laser engraving kind of skewing one way or another, in generally in the X direction, this is engraved left to right in the X direction. Usually that's where you're gonna have issues. I don't usually see issues with the um, Y direction, which is why I engrave up and down for my big pictures that take like an hour and a half. I really don't wanna have issues with those, so I do it that way. Either way, I'm gonna show you how to fix that, what I did. All right, so yeah, I should, you know, screen cap this instead of doing it this way, but I'm being lazy right now. So anyway, um, in Lightburn, I currently have it connected via wireless to my laser, but this will also work if you're connected via USB, but you have to be connected to the machine. So I'm gonna make sure I'm connected and I am connected. And what you wanna do is go up all the way to edit and then machine settings and it's gonna pop up this machine setting dialog. All right, I give up. I'm going to uh, plug it in via USB. USB cable. Now I already have my machine set up in here for USB running. All right, so now I have it connected via USB. Over here I had to select the device, which I have it set a USB version. It's on COM3, it's connected down here. And now if I go to edit and then go to machine settings, it pulls up the controller settings. And now you have all the parameters for the machine. So if you wanted to change acceleration and a bunch of stuff like that, it's actually within these menus. But for the most part, um, within here, there's a lot of stuff in here you can play with. Um, be careful, because you can break things. But the thing that I'm looking for that's most important, you scroll all the way down and you see vendor settings and you click to open it up and it'll say you wish to continue editing this stuff is really bad, blah, blah, blah. If you scroll down here, you'll see X axis settings. There's also a Y and a Z and a U setting. But this right here, PWM rising edge valid. That setting right there is basically what's gonna help you fix or not fix the skewing issue that you're that I was having, that I was experiencing, and you might be anyway. Basically, whatever setting that's on right now, just toggle it on or off to fix, to change it. So mine was set to true, and I turned it off, went to false, and you know, now it's not, not skewing, which is great. Um, what's interesting is that I had this issue, you know, many like years ago when I first got this machine and it was set to false and I changed it to true and then the skewing didn't happen and only recently has the skewing started happening and now changing it back doesn't give me the issue. I don't really know why. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All I know is that hitting that and changing whatever setting that PWM Rising Edge valid, change that to whatever the opposite setting is. Um, specifically on the X setting. You can leave the Y unless you're having Y axis shifting as well. Um, and then once you've done that, you would just hit right. So you hit the right button. It'll say controller settings written successfully right here, and you're good to go. You hit okay. Now your controller has been rewritten with those settings. Now try to rerun whatever you were running and see if that uh, fixes the issue. The more you know, the better. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.